We are in my town in Portugal, which is called Alcabasa. It's a quite little village, but in its monastery lies Portugal's most iconic love story. And I thought I'd share that with you today. Inês was a maid. She was a maid to Constance of Castile in 1340s. And Constance was recently married to the heir to the throne, Pedro. Pedro, the prince. Pedro fell in love with Inesh, but his king, his father, King Alonso, hated their affair. Their scandalous love continued in secret, but the king was always suspicious and never liked Inesh. When Constance died in 1345, King Alonso banished Inesh from court trying to keep Inej and Pedro apart. But they never really broke up. They kept coming back to each other and they tried to live together in secret. When the king found out and because of Pedro's claims that he had married Inej, the king sent out three men to kill Inej. She was decapitated. She was decapic... Meh. I cannot say that word. She had her head cut off. <laughs> and Pedro was furious. When he became king, he found the killers and executed them publicly. He said that Inez was his true love. His wish was that Inez's body was exhumed and buried in the monastery of Alcabasa, which is what I'm showing you now, where he would one day be buried too. His wish was that the tombs were facing each other and not side by side so that he and Inej could face each other as they went up to heaven. Now, this is a very tragic story, very tragic story of forbidden love, much like Romeo and Juliet, and I don't know why we like these kinds of stories. They're really saddening and deeply flawed. We can't seem to find the romance in our own really mundane, vanilla love stories that we have going on. But even if you think you do have the most vanilla of love stories, you still have one. So what's yours?